What's happening guys? So as some of you know, I got pneumonia recently and I have to say that that was not a fun experience. Two out of 10, would not recommend. But anyways, I'm finally starting to feel normal again and yes, I've seen your comments saying that I look tired. But anyways, let's talk about college majors and the only degrees worth going to college for. Now I've already made a few videos on this subject but I just keep getting more requests. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you're coming back to my channel, then welcome back. And you might've seen some of my other videos on the subject. And basically, if you look on YouTube, most business or career related channels say that you shouldn't go to college and it's a complete scam. Then if you ask your parents or your grandparents, they're probably going to tell you that college is the golden ticket to success. And just like with most things in life, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. And in my videos, I always try to teach you guys how to find out for yourself. And all I ask in return is that you Hulk smash the like button. Smash. And as long as you always remember to do that, I'll keep on making good content and replying to all of my comments. But in this one, I'm just gonna straight up name the degrees that are worth going to college for. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a comprehensive list so that you can go and check for yourself. So first of all, we're gonna start off by assuming that if you're thinking of going to college, you only wanna go for four years and you're going for a bachelor's degree. And later on, I'll talk about how if you decide to go to grad school, get your master's or doctorate, there's some degrees where that's a good choice, but for many of them, it isn't. Now, average wage right now in the United States is around around $48,000 to $52,000 a year. And this is the overall average of all people, those with degrees and those without. So I think it's safe to say that you wanna aim for a degree that makes at the very least $48,000 a year, especially assuming that you're gonna have to pay back a bunch of student loan debt in order to get that degree. So for instance, according to a recent pay scale study, gender studies degrees are only making about $42,000 a year, and that ranks 772 out of 835 possible degrees. And also remember that this is all self-report data, so it doesn't count the ones that weren't able to get a job, as many of them aren't. So I think it would be safe here to conclude that getting this degree is not a good financial decision as the the average person is going to be going nearly $40,000 in debt. So this is the graph that was made based off of the data in that study and it's really great to look at. You should probably pause it and just check out the graph really quick. And this is a really great representation for some of the most common majors. But if you want to look through the whole study, all 835 majors, I'll link that down in the description. Remind me if I forget. But overall, when you're doing research and you're looking at this data, you want to make sure that you're making at least $48,000 a year with the degree that you're getting. Now next we're going to look at unemployment rates as well is future growth. Now this one is really tricky, but overall just make sure that you can actually get a job after you graduate. Now the average unemployment rate right now is about 3.5%. So if you look at statistics from the NCES and you see that your major has an unemployment rate that's greater than 3.5%, that could potentially be a bad sign. Then another thing you can do is get on the Bureau of Labor Statistics or BLS and look at the future job growth potential for your particular career that you're looking to get into. So if your dream is to be a meter maid, I have some bad news for you. So again, this isn't an absolute, but you wanna be very wary of something that has a negative average growth over the next 10 years, because that means that the job is probably dying. Now, the next thing you wanna think about is whether you actually need that degree in order to get into whatever job you're going for. And a great example for this one is a criminal justice degree. For most law enforcement jobs, you actually don't need this degree, and there's only a few that require it. So make sure that the job that you want actually requires a degree in order to get into it, or else you're just wasting your time. That would be like paying for a course on financial education when you can just watch my videos for free. Now, one exception that I hear a lot about this is if you're going for a graduate degree. And there are examples of bachelor's degrees where if you just get the four-year undergrad degree, there's not that many job opportunities. But if you bump it up to a master's or a doctorate, there is a lot of opportunity out there. One really good example of this one is data science where there's not that many opportunities for those with a four-year degree. But if you get a master's, there's actually actually a ton of job opportunities out there. But whenever you're thinking about this, just make sure that you realize when you go to grad school, first of all, it's a lot more expensive and the interest you have to pay on those loans is a lot higher plus you have to start paying it right away. So if you do decide to pursue a degree where you're thinking of going to grad school afterwards, it's even more important that you plan ahead and make sure that the career or lifestyle that you're going for is going to lend to you getting that degree. Now, all of these are great points, of course, but go ahead and check out the study for yourself. I'll link it down in the description. And then check out my videos right here because I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, 
Comment down below any ideas you have on the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.